I had the pleasure to participate at the IAF Congress, as, as, as it was called in the past, for the last 35 years. But I think the, the major change is linked to that. When we had a conference in, in the 80s, they were the main event to, for uh, news on space. We didn't have internet, so people had big ears, came to the conference to listen. What is the biggest news in the US, in the Soviet Union, Europe, Japan, etc. So it was besides being a fantastic networking place, it was the place to get all the news. Now I've been coming, I think must be for about 20, 25 years maybe by now. And I, I guess the, the most obvious change is just the size of it. It's grown, uh, but not just the size, also the mix. I think in, initially, of course, it was during the, the Cold War era, and now we have many more uh, SMEs, we have many more startups, new ideas, new space, and so forth. So it's actually much more energetic than it, it, than it uh, perhaps was 25 years ago, so it's great. The International Astronomical Congress, I like to call the biggest space conference of the year that actually represents how the world looks. When I come to the IAC, which I do every year, I look forward to seeing the leaders and professionals, business thinkers from every continent. So during uh, these uh, three years, uh, what has been uh, very, uh, a big pleasure for me is to implement uh, the 3G approach to see uh, more young people, uh, more ladies, uh, more people coming from everywhere. And uh, today, VIIF uh, is global and uh, it is uh, a big achievement. I'm so pleased when I see we have people representing Africa, Latin America, the Middle East and Asia, and that you have a balance, as you do see in the world population, so that we are excited to see the inputs and the opinions of all types of countries. This is more important in the future because in the coming years, the space community is going to make some key decisions about how we operate in areas like space traffic management and how humans may start to create homes in places beyond Earth. It's vital that as we move forward, venues like the International Astronomical Congress and other related activities such as the United Nations and bilateral discussions, they should all allow us to hear the point of view of countries of all continents on how the global community will operate in space in the future. So the IAF has played a key role in being a non-political venue where technical people and managers and policymakers exchange views in a peaceful setting. And that needs to continue because we only have more important things to address in the future.